So I cleaned this one up. Came out really nice. It has a couple of has a has dents on the corners here. It looks like it's been dropped probably. Has a dent right here. Can't really see it. But overall, it's still in really good shape. Um, not much wear, not many scratches. Uh, this one's doing something kind of weird with the Wi-Fi, so and it won't accept my Ethernet, and I don't really know how to configure it manually. Not that I, well, I probably could. I just don't want to. Anyway, but I'll show you what it does when it comes up here. Uh, so this one is, uh, so it's a 2010 MacBook Pro 13 inch, um, and it is running 10.6.8, which I think is what it came with originally. Okay, and it's slowly but surely coming up. I think what I may do is put an SSD in here, but I'll see how it, how it runs without it. All right, so when I go here to the Wi-Fi, Now, it'll go on my Wi-Fi, it'll actually go on my network, but then what it'll do, now another thing it does is it, you know, let's see, so it pops up with that, airport on, looking for networks, okay, put in my password, and it'll actually come up, but then it turns off and says no no internet available, which is just weird. Unless it just decides to work now. Of course. <laughs> Did it actually decide to work this time? That's ridiculous. <clears throat> now obviously this is way out of date and it's not going to make any difference. What is this? Download and install. 48. System unsupported is not supported on your system. That's fine. So now it works. All right, let's try to just make sure it works. I don't understand what happened before. That was just really weird. Just really, really weird. Well, anyway, I'm going to be redoing it anyway. So uh, I'll go ahead and quit this here. And uh, so the computer has, uh, like I said, 10.6.8. It has not been updated in a long time. Um, I'm not sure when. Let's see, the applications that it has on here. So it's got some weird stuff, and I thought maybe it had like a virus or something, but um, let's see. Oh, look, Illustrator, InDesign, Photoshop CS, <laughs> AOL Instant Messenger, Authorizer. Comic Life, QMix FX, Dashboard, Font Book, Google Chrome. Oh, that's a 2016 version. iChat, iDVD, Image Capture, iMovie, old iMovie. Uh, iWork 06. Wow. Microsoft Office X. Okay, so I guess that's from 2008. Alrighty. I don't know what this Motu is, audio, QMix console, maybe something for audio, um, like DJ kind of stuff, possibly. And how much how much space do I have on this thing? Let's see, does it show me that on... Oh man, I'm so used to... Oh, and it doesn't have the double click, or the right click enabled. <laughs> God. Uh, let's see... Yeah, so it looks like they bought this in 2010, just kept it as it was, and never updated it. It's just totally interesting to me. So, um, but anyway, so it's in good shape, and I'm going to go ahead and update it. Um, <clears throat> here, I'll show you the top and everything. Here's the top. Not too bad. You can see the dent there causes it not to be able to close all the way. But aside from that, it still runs great, and I just turned it off. <laughs> The battery is shot on this, so it's going to need a new battery if I decide to do anything with it. Um, the black MacBook also cleaned up very well. What is kind of sad to me about this is this also runs a Core 2 Duo, but it's surprising that it only had two major updates before it basically was just no longer supported. Um, wow, these magnets are really strong. 
Okay, these magnets are very strong. There we go. So I cleaned this one up and you can see it looks really, really nice. Cleaned up all the keys. It had a lot of gunk in the keyboard. But um, yeah, it's really sad. Only two updates. So it had, it came with Tiger 10.4 and ended with Snow Leopard. And that was it. So I did put Snow Leopard on here and I got everything working and updated. And I'll show you that one in a little bit. But yeah, we're going to focus on this one now. So let's see. We're still waiting on the... Yeah, we're still waiting on that. And then once that's done, I'll go ahead and load it up. Camila, say hello. Say hello. Lily, would you like to say hello to YouTube? Oh, she says hello. Lily, are you saying hello? Lily. Yeah, she's a pretty girl. All right, so I'll be back. Okay, hold down our option key. Oh man. Alright. I'm not sure why I decided to reboot <laughs> when I did it the first the last time. The lovely loading screen. Pretty sure this thing could use an SSD. <laughs> Disk utility. So we will go ahead and erase this thing. All right. So we're going to erase. Leave it as Macintosh HD. And I'm going to put it in APFS. I'm not sure if that'll make much of a difference on this, being an older machine. But let's try it anyway. And erase. Oh, that was quick. All right, so now I can close that. Go ahead and install. All righty. Let's see how it goes. I'm sure this is going to take a while, but... <laughs> this copy of the install is damaged and can't be used. Oh, what a joke. What an actual joke. You're telling me that the version I got from Apple is damaged. Fantastic. I had to look this up. So one thing I noticed when uh, when I had this on on the uh, OS, it kept uh, coming up and saying that the time was before 2008. Apparently, it's it thought it was 2001. So this is what it thought the date was. It thought it was January 1st, 2001, 12.53 a.m. Uh, so I just changed it. So you type in the month the day, the time in military time, and then the last two digits of the year. So now it has it as Wednesday, May 22nd, uh, 10, 13 p.m. 2019, and now I can get out of this and hopefully it'll work. Dear God, let's see. Okay. Let's see if it works. Oh, it worked. You guys see the crap I go through? The crap I go through to get things done. Thank God the internet is here. Yes, I've read the agreement. This volume is not formatted as journaled. Oh, you're killing me. <sighs> go ahead and quit that. Now I gotta go back in here and freaking restore this again. God bless America. It doesn't want me to do APFS for whatever reason. Wait, now it's not going to give me an option? What a joke. This is a joke. Look at this. doesn't give me the option anymore. Oh, 
Come on. <laughs> oh my god. I cannot. Why? I agree. Why? <laughs> okay, now I'm trying to figure this out. See? This is my life, guys. So I just had to delete the APFS container, so I had to go into Terminal and do that, and uh, yeah, I had to look that up online too. So then it makes it say unti untitled, so I'm erasing it and putting it OS X <laughs> Mac OS Extended Journal. <sighs> and then maybe it'll let me install this. Okay, done. All right, let's close that out. Go back here. Why is the continue? Oh, I was about to say, why is the continue button not highlighted? Okay, agree. Agree. There it is. Okay, now it shows. It's kind of weird that it doesn't like it wanted it to be extended journal rather than APFS. Um, but I'm going to guess it's because this is a traditional hard drive. So I'm thinking maybe if I had the SSD in here, it would let me do APFS. Um, but that is another video. So, uh, yeah. All right. Well, this is good. We have something happening here. This may take forever. We'll have to see, I guess. So, uh, yeah, I'll be back in a while. Success. All right. Now we are in the High Sierra setup menu here. Let us select our good stuff here. Okay. Connecting, connecting. That did take quite a while. <laughs> it said like five minutes estimated, but it took way longer than that. I mean, I'm not surprised, but. Hmm. My little bootable uh, USB there finally worked. Here we go. Data and privacy continue. I'm going to make it a new one. I'm... Mm. Oh, set up later. Skip. Mm. You guys ever read this? I'm totally reading this. All of it right now. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, I will put my name. And I will change the gingerbread man uh, defaults. Let's see. The one I chose for 10.6.8 on the other one was a cat. They don't have a cat on this one, do they? Those monsters. You can only see what the camera looks like. Hey, what's up? It's me. <laughs> yeah, no. All right, let's go with um, the angry owl. How's that sound? And we're going to continue. You haven't provided all the requests for information. Do I really have to do one? Apparently, I have to do a password. That's so sad. You're required. Required to make a password. Why if I don't want to make a password? Why am I required? Express setup. Let's customize this stuff. Sure. Sure, why not? 
Does Siri actually work on this? That's a little surprising. I guess we'll find out. Sinning up your Mac. It's pretty cool that this is still on High Sierra. I'm pretty sure that Mojave would work on here. I can probably do the patcher. The Mojave patcher that DOS dude did. The DOS dude did. <laughs> wow. So this went from 10.6.8 all the way up to, what, 10.13. <laughs> like seven versions ahead. It's pretty crazy, right? So now let's take a look. Wow, 10.13.6. <laughs> That's pretty incredible if you ask me. So, all right. Yeah, so we have a, a 320 gig hard drive. I definitely think I should put the SSD in this. I think that it'll run fine. Now that the Wi-Fi is working properly, does it show that information? I don't know how they get that to show up. Let's see. Does she work? What's the weather today? Well, she didn't speak. Let's try this again. Show me the top news stories. Okay, there she goes. Wow, all right. Seems to be running pretty good. Okay, how do I get out of this? <laughs> Go away, okay. Let's try out Safari and see, you know the test we have to do is YouTube. We gotta see if YouTube actually will, actually let's see if Apple's website shows up nice. I'll just check to see if there's any updates on here too. Alright. Look at that. Works perfect. Absolutely perfect. It's very nice. All right, let's go to YouTube. Our new streaming service is here. Oh, God, just what we need. <laughs> uh, let's see, what is... Let's try the trending tab, how about that? Toy Story 2 official trailer. Oh, God. Dolan twins. Ugh. Okay. Woody, why am I alive? You are a toy. You belong to Bonnie. These are your friends. Oh, Woody, I have a question. Now, I know it won't question? show 1080p, um, but... Well, actually, Ooh, a little bit of lag going on there. I am impressed. It works pretty well. Um, I'm thinking that the SSD would probably make it way better, which is great. Um, can you do dark theme? Ooh, the dark theme is my favorite. There we go. So much better. It's still smooth. All right, let's try. I know CNN is kind of a heavy site here, so let's try that. All right. There's, oh, there goes the ads. <laughs> they have ads all over the place. But yeah, oh, God. Just, it's a mess. Their website is an absolute mess. That's why I like to, I like to use it as a test. All right. One last thing. Let's see if the, let's see if there are any uh, updates here. Welcome to the Mac App Store. 
What you got? Updates are available for this device. Okay. iTunes 12.8.2, Safari 12.1.1. Okay, and security update. 2019-003. That must be a, maybe that's a firmware update? What version is Safari right now? 11.1.2. Oh, wow. Okay. It's interesting. So, I mean, it did install the latest... It installed the latest um, version of High Sierra, I believe. Is that the latest version? Yeah, I guess it is. That's where it would show up. All right, well, let's go ahead and do the updates here. Download and restart. Yeah, this is running really well. I'm really impressed. So the Wi-Fi was working just fine now. Um, yeah, I'm impressed. Uh, it does still need a battery, all that good stuff, but... Uh, let's see. Let's show our launch pad here. Oh, that's it. All right. Yeah, not too shabby. <laughs> CD drive, God. Anyway, all right. Well, um, I'll let this update and do its thing, but uh, thank you for watching, and hopefully you enjoyed me uh, showing you these computers and updating them and, uh, you know, uh, doing all this good stuff and you know, maybe I'll get them to a new home and it'll be used more. Um, my next video that I would like to do is on the black MacBook. I would like to see if I can install Windows on it and see if I can get it updated to Windows 10 because that'd be really cool. I know that doesn't sound cool, but it's cool to me because I'm a nerd. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys.